I like this one more than like uh, than like a few of the previous ones. I was kind of a little hard on. That one guy's a bitch, though. I don't know who that guy was, but they got his ass just beat. And they're just, like, the whole thing, I'm thinking, like... Uh, Are you talking whenever... about Pa? Pa? Is that what his name is? I already forgot what his name was. Mm-hmm. The one that uh, got beat up right away? <clears throat> yeah. Man, when this episode opened, starting with, um... The that guy getting beat down again? Beat yep. up, I was like, Stratton's gonna hate yep. that. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking, like, do we... Oh, like, it, it's like, constantly... is... it was no point. Is that the <laughs> just thing that annoys you about the show, Stratton? Like, just seeing that she getting beat up all the time? He just keeps getting beat up. He's just such a bitch. <laughs> and then it's just I don't know it's <clears throat> that part I'm just getting kind of annoyed with but then uh when he was in that fight with that one guy and then they kept saying like oh man he's getting his ass beat he's just like he needs to quit and then everybody's just like wait wait I was like okay do we is there something else that we know and he just gets knocked out it's just like he hasn't quit yet I was like seriously is this it <laughs> it's like you hyped this man up yeah. just to get his ass beat that and then uh fun. but then uh the best part was when uh God, what the hell's his name I want to say uh Mikey when yes. uh when Mikey just came, came in there and just dr- just just knocked him on one shot, I thought oh man. and then you know Draken comes in, and then the bitch just comes with a knife. I'm just thinking this motherfucker, <laughs> and then uh that I don't know the the, the drama but like between them, where uh oh god there was one part that actually like I I, I finally thought was was uh, was funny until this like until they broke like everything that the man had. I think it was like okay. the first one I thought was really good, and then they kind of just kept. His, his, yeah. his precious Hayate. Yeah. yeah, and I just I just thought of uh was it the uh, Devil's a part timer and Dula Hunt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I mean I guess did you guys have fun with kind of that, that ending scene between uh um, Mikey and Draken when they were uh, throwing all their stuff no, no, like, no, I, I don't know. It's tough. I was, no, I'm way too worried that they're actually gonna fight. Yeah, like I'm feeling that's the problem. <laughs> because it's basically supposed to be like a tense like scene. Yeah. And then they're, they're trying to do co- like uh, comedy relief, but then they're, they're then they try to bring it back to seriousness. Yeah. They're not and doing exactly what Stratton well. said. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. There's some shows that can do that really well, but it's really hard to pull it off. This episode yeah. it, just, it uh was a miss for me, so yeah, it's, I feel uh, like everything with Tokyo Avengers is super hit and miss for me. I will literally go from like loving one thing that happens in like 15 seconds to the, hating the following 15 <laughs> seconds to going back to liking the next minute. Like throughout an episode, I either love or hate like every single aspect. It's such a weird show for me. Yeah. I'm That's mostly what I, for me. Yeah, go ahead, David. I I mostly so enjoy it. Besides the time travel stuff, it's like this is the first time where I felt like it wasn't really like where it just felt off. Like yeah. So. Even for me, you know, reading the manga and everything like in in the same vein, you know, where I've I've tried to like hype it up and everything for you guys and coming into it like I do feel bad in the sense that, you know, that there are these really like kind of miss or like off kilter things that really take away from like the drama and like kind of heaviness of the show. And, and for me, it feels really bad, you know, when we do have these moments in episodes because like Every week, I'm kind of just thinking, like, oh, man, like, I can't wait to see, you know, uh, well, I mean, what you me. guys thought of it, because I'm kind of, like, worried, like, <laughs> oh, man, like, now seeing this animated, I'm like, ooh, this is kind of, like, <laughs> not bad, but it, it really detracts from, like, some really good stuff, like, the meat see, of the show me, that like, I think a lot of people like. <laughs> it's, like, I'm not, like, that, like, I don't, I don't just drop things, like, for stuff like that, like, it has to be, like, really yeah. bad, or, like, consistently mm. bad, or this is just, like, okay. more, like, like, a bump mm. in a row for me, so I'm, I'm still, like, all yeah. on board. Yeah, yeah I'm nowhere feel... near dropping it. It's just bewildering sometimes. That's really you... all it is, but yeah. it's not drop worthy at all. Do you think the pacing is going all right so far? Do you think it's I just know. right? I mean, Do you think it's kind I of know. slow? Uh, I thought the pacing yeah. was fine. Slow. Yeah, for me, I honestly is fine. With, I'm fine with the pacing oh. just because I would prefer them to not hmm. miss stuff. Like, so, no, that's it's, true. I, I, like every... so the one thing I haven't really hammered on this show is like pacing at all. Like I'm perfectly fine with it. It's yeah. just like how how they're like showing it, like how they're basically like, giving us their information. How have you guys still, uh, and, and sorry to keep on like directing to like a different question, no, but uh, fine. it's fine. How, I, I know last week a lot of you, you know, had your, your um, comments or, or gripes about Takamichi as a character and him continuing to come into these, you know, uh, events with like no plan. And exactly this <laughs> week again, we see him having no plan and then he ends up just getting like knocked okay. the fuck out. So, this at least he managed this to old... finish a damn puzzle. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, hold on. That, yeah, that was the part that I thought was hilarious when, when it was with, the, with when Draken basically destroyed the puzzle. Yeah. That part I actually really liked. That was so funny. Uh, oh, but this... the, the one part. Oh, David, before I forget, there was uh, a, the, the part that I hated with that with the guy where before, like previous episodes where I, I kind of gripped about how this guy doesn't remember like these crucial parts like of his like past, mm-hmm. like of his memory. He just forgets. But he remembers every damn item I know. that they were destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, yeah. I'm fucking putting more value on his items than his life. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. 
I think some parts of that could be explained. Like, maybe I'm getting my time travel timeline mixed up a little bit, but like this stuff that's happening with him in this fight right now that happened in this episode. I mean, what I don't, he wasn't there originally, right? In the first run through of his no, life. No, I don't think so. Yeah. He was correct. never friends yeah. with Mikey or Draken before. So, yeah. Yep. Okay. Just reconfirming. No, you're right. I mean, I'll say like for the fight with like with Mobius and. And then them, it's like, I guess that one was out of his hands, so I don't blame him for that much. Mm-hmm. So, did you guys feel like much? I guess, what's the word I want to use? Like, hype or shock for anything that occurred in that fight with Mobius? Like, with, you know, Mikey just one tapping the guy with, with no. his, like, super. The only thing that surprised me was, the knife. was, was the were you, knife. Yeah, were you yeah. surprised by the knife stab mm-hmm. either, though? I, I thought, like, someone, yeah. I thought, like, some, it was, yeah, some Mobius guy was a stab dragon out of nowhere. It's like, wait, is this really how he goes down? And then I saw his paw, so I think the other guy, like, wait, what? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like some. I thought it was gonna be like that guy with the glasses. I thought maybe he was gonna come in and uh, maybe I, I don't. I don't actually know where he's supposed to come in, but I just I just thought for some reason there was gonna be like a mystery guy or mystery yeah. party that would make. It. But then oh, true, true, true. Just ends up being some guy in their main but party. Then, but also because I didn't know like, what day it was, so then we find out that later it's August first. We're like, oh, okay, so we technically have two days before Dragon's oh, supposed to die. So <laughs> for doomsday. So, so yeah, yeah, so that that so I, I just didn't know what day this, this was supposed to be. So yeah. I also thought it was kind of funny how, like, as soon as the leader gets taken out and Draken kind of says, you know, like, oh, you all work for Toman now. Everybody just kind of accepts it <laughs> in, like, the, yeah. the Mobius game. See, like, I'm just like, what are you, what are you guys, a bunch of bitches? Like, you know, you're all up to be this, like, two-generation-old, like, game. <laughs> okay, fair. You know, your leader gets one tapped, and he's, you know, the strongest of See, all of Mobius. You but usually... like, man, have, have a backbone and spine. Like, you're still, <laughs> you know, it's still 40 against five. Like, maybe, yeah, you'll get your ass kicked. But I just felt like that's kind of, like, it, one of those moments where it's, like, kind of weird. Where it's just, like... Hey, you're our bitches now, and they're just like, it's like, "Okay, sir," and they're like, "Yo, go pick up your, you know, <laughs> your leader. Don't leave him." Yeah. Usually, it would be like a weird thing, but I feel like, like this is like this is like the exception for this show. Like, I actually didn't mind that happening. It's like the one I thought it'd be a cop out, but it's like this actually kind of makes sense that like because Mikey's so strong, you took out their leader, and everyone you could just say they're just spineless. So mm-hmm. it's just a bunch of like you know, just just a bunch of like just cheap. Want to want to be want to yeah. want to be delinquents acting, like acting tough. That's like, a good yeah, way. Like, there's yeah. all like there's all loyalty. It's just you just want like you just want like the the protection, the image. The, the yeah, you static, want the image, yeah. not like the actual like. So that makes that actually makes sense for me. Like, I, for some, it just didn't bother me when other shows it would. Good. So. Yeah. I, again, I think with my my bias of knowing the show and everything, I think I'm just being overtly critical. So I'm glad to hear you guys are still you know having fun with it. There hasn't been anything that's been. A big negative. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not going to no. drop it. Because I'm going to still hold... Because I still don't, just, you know, from what you said, Justin. It's going to get good. I just got to wait. <laughs> or else, Justin. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> right? no. Yeah, I, will I mean... Like, leave. no pressure, man. No, no, like, even, <laughs> no. if you weren't, even if you weren't hyping us every week, I'd still be, like, enjoying it. Like... Yeah, yeah I'm still, still watching. It's on merits. Yeah. yeah. The only thing that actually annoyed me about this episode is just, like, the it's it's something... Like, the forced drama... What felt like forced drama to me between Mikey and Draken. It felt forced. Like, what are yeah. they even really fighting about? Obviously, Draken had to get him out of there. Like, Pa made his choice, and he said he wanted to stay. I just don't really even understand. It just feels like a convenient fight, like, for the plot, rather than something you would actually... I mean, there's supposed to be two leaders of a of a gang. Like, they should be able to make those yeah. kind of decisions and especially mikey is the leader I and mean, i understand that but well and especially too because draken is supposed to be like his moral backbone or something right and the, his heart so yeah. i feel like it even goes more against that so that kind of annoyed me but what do you have to face right guys, you see Biden at the, the guys we there. still we still have to like remember that you know regardless of their looks they are in middle they're school, middle school. Like, they're <laughs> 14, yeah. so they're gonna have these childish fights well, <laughs> The only thing I can say is like I, I guess they try to show that with Mikey last, last episode that like he still is naive a lot of other things too. But even still, mm-hmm. it still felt like a forced like argument. Like I, I feel like Mikey should as a leader he should know better. Like mm-hmm. like yeah. that like that like pa, like this is basically like I don't trying to look up for his friend, but like he, like Pa like did this on his own, so he has to take his own yeah. responsibility. So as a leader, well, you need to recognize that. I, I do say the the big thing to to your point, sir, and is like the very end of the episode. You know, when Draken first shows up, and then when they're leaving the house, and and Mikey's there, and he's like, "Why are you at his house? Like, I'm coming to his house." He's like, "No, I'm coming to his house." And then you know that starts the whole fight. It, yeah. And it drills definitely in. They're kids. 
Like, yeah. you know, yes, they're trying to have this more grandiose, like, ideology of, like, building this gang. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, just a bunch of kids doing... Yep. Stabbing you know, people. Delinquent smoking. shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the huge. Yeah, oh, the yeah, huge. when they mentioned something about the true delinquent lifestyle, I laughed for a full minute. I had to pause the yeah. show. I was like, what could you explain I to just, me? I just thought it was kind of funny, too. And again, maybe it's not me knowing much about the juvenile system in Japan and all that thing. But it's like when they stabbed that guy and like we didn't know if he was alive <laughs> or dead, you know, yep. they're just like, oh, no worries. Like he'll go to jail for a year, but he'll be back. It's all good. I'm just like. He's only going to go to jail for like a year. Like, I get he's, you know, a minor and everything, but it's like, yeah. he stabbed the guy. But, like, but if he died, he would have been in there until he was 18. That's true. They did. Yeah. I forgot about mm. that. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. They're just kind of like, yeah, you know, it's all good. Like, he'll just go yeah. away for a little bit. We'll see him again, though. But I guess that's just, you know, the delinquent lifestyle. I guess I'm not, yeah. I wasn't hardcore enough as a child. Same. Same. But I can live out these fantasies through shows like this. So, truth. <laughs> I'm, well, I don't really have anything else. To, yeah, I don't think. <laughs> so looking forward to. I mean, hopefully, like this. I don't know. I just worry that like it's gonna blow up into like, like something like actually big next week, where like where like the fight leads to like the uh, the gate, the civil war, or whatever, and then like, I don't know. Yeah, um, I will be. You know, Draken will be saved, and then something else will come up. You know. <laughs> I don't know. They could. They could, I could see Street easy Draken be, being killed by someone or the the glasses guy. I hope not. Yeah. That would be maybe like one chance of like if if Draken actually dies, that I may like may fuck the show. 